we have over 400 objects on exhibit mm -hmm. here. Now, you know, if I were to tell somebody that, they would think that we would have much more than 900 square feet. Mm -hmm. And if I had the space and if I were designing an exhibit with 900 square feet, I wouldn't have quite this many pieces in it. Right. But we're trying to show the diversity of ideas and mm -hmm. so we have these objects. While we own 3,000 works of art, yes. most of them are in storage. One of the things that we never take mm -hmm. out is this house post. Mm -hmm. He is fifth generation master carver. His name is Lenidi Fakaye. He's from Nigeria. Uh -huh. And if you go to the John Kennedy Performing Arts Center in Washington mm -hmm. and go to the Africa Room, he was invited to carve the doors leading to the Africa Room. Wow. So this is... Yeah one of our coveted, not that we don't appreciate all of them, yeah. but it's one of our very special pieces. It is a mask, sends a message, and the message here is that the person who's going to dance this at the request of the old people, because the old people in rural Africa are in charge, when they say it is time for this mask to be danced, it's tilted back, there's no bottom, he gets down and gets inside of the mask, wow. And then he's got to spin. I just finished a wonderful tour uh, that Doris Ligon uh, provided to me, the, uh, the founder and director of the African Art Museum of Maryland, located here in Maple Lawn. It's a tremendous resource for Howard County, and I hope everybody comes out to check out uh, the amazing artifacts and art here.